welcome this morning once again to the Porter's Gate online broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. Yes, this morning once again the Father will be guiding us as he leads us through his desire and counsel for this new day. There's a speaking, there's a declaration, there is a powerful expression of the voice of the Father for his church and for the nations. And I thank God that we are given the privilege and, and the opportunity to be part of that which the Spirit of the Lord is emphasizing. And uh, I would really enjoy you to be part of this great uh, declarations and uh, emphasis of the Spirit. We're in a time, we're in a day where heaven is calling us into a new height, into a new position, into a new reality in the Spirit. And we cannot allow that which we have seen, that we that which we've enjoyed, that which we have been part of in the time past, all right, to hinder us from moving into the next reality of the Father's demand for this new day. And so I just want us to look into some beautiful uh, principles that we have um, been looking at for a while now. We've been talking about the seasons of God, engaging the seasons of God. And a few, uh, uh, last week particularly, the Father began to draw my attention to another aspect, excuse me, another aspect of that which, you know, he is doing in this new day and he will want us to really come into. Because one of the things, all right, that um, the Spirit of the Lord is doing right now, at least that I have sensed, is that he's, he's gathering all the information that is required for us to be adequately prepared to step into this newness, into this new reality, into this new day, all right, if you will, of uh, of the Spirit of God. So uh, 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 he's been really just, you know, uh, leading my heart to, you know, to scan through the scripture. In fact, most time he's the one that shows me the scripture. Uh, thank God that at least one has, you know, a bit of knowledge of, you know, some of the scripture. But you can have the knowledge. But if the Lord is not emphasizing, if He's not calling for those words, you see, then they become irrelevant. So what, what, I, what I thank God for is that, the, you know, the seasons and the times that one have spent in the Word of God, and you know, just taking this word and you just, you know, you know, uh, 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 Yes, just taking these words into your spirit without really having any purpose for them back then. All right. Today, we're seeing that the word of the Lord, amen, is, is, is you know, there's a stirring in my spirit, all right, to go back to those words. And those words are beginning to find their place. It's, you know, it's like puzzle, all right. They, they, they're finding their place, all right, within, you know, within the shores of time. And so I'm, I'm excited, all right, for, you know, those days of, of training and building and, 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 and going through some very, very difficult, you know, rough times, all right, and, and not really understanding why you're going through those things, but now it's beginning to really make sense, and I thank God, all right, that, you know, I, I allowed myself, okay, to, you know, to go through that which the Father, you know, wanted me to, you know, to, to know and to experience back then, and uh, today, I mean, I'm becoming, you know, a proficient in, in the reality of that which the Spirit of the Lord will have me or I do for my generation and for for the church. So we're talking about engaging engaging the seasons of God. It's 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 interesting, all right, to begin to look at season from a different perspective. Um, uh, you know, f- you know, as 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 the as the day of the Lord unfolds upon us. So is revelation. Okay, uh, uh, we the, the scripture says, "For we know in part, and therefore we prophesy in part." To prophesy, all right, means to unfold, to reveal, all right, the mind of God, the mind of God true prophecy is revealed in in seasons all right the context of god in each season reveals to us what he wants us to to know to understand all right to step into if you will and so we are in a day where i believe the spirit of the lord is taking us even to another level to another layer to another position where we can have clarity and insight into the mind of the lord with regards to how to move into that which is calling, that which is desiring, that which is requiring of us in this new day. And so you, you will find or a, a repetition or a, a, a reemphasizing, and, you know, a calling again and again. And all that or a, 
uh, uh, carries on uh, you know specific you know uh, uh, um, purpose and objectives in the spirit because the scripture says you know uh, 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 once has the Lord spoken twice have we heard that all power belongs to God faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God we don't just hear once and develop faith we hear continuously so so you you will find that the Lord will be repeating certain things and be re-emphasizing certain things and that is a principle in the word of God that's a principle that was actually imbibed okay by you know by the jewish tradition because you know that's how you build that's how you empower that's how you you know you 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 relay as it were you know a new structure of thinking a new structure of thinking comes through repetition that's how you teach children if you if you teach again and again and again and again somehow it sticks to the mind okay and and, and that's something i sense the spirit of the lord is emphasizing in this day all right we've been talking about this you know engaging the seasons of god a lot of you've been hearing it but but you, we will not fully get to understand what it means until you know heaven continue to unfold and continue to reveal to us and as we respond with the right attitude and with the right mindset you will discover that okay excuse me we'll begin to understand knowledge will begin to come into us clarity will begin to come understanding will begin to come insight will begin to come and therefore we can actually step into that season we'll not step into the season by just mere rhetorics it's not going to happen because all right we we we're hearing these things or you're reading it on facebook or you somebody's declaring it or you you know you, you're just listening to it all right it's going to come when you internalize the things you have heard okay the scripture said concerning the children of you know israel all right that they, they did not mix what they heard with faith you see hearing is one thing mixing what you have heard with faith allowing faith to to perfect his work and faith will only work through patience all right through a uh, 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 long suffering all right the faith will work through the fruit of the spirit so when when faith comes all right you you, you also need to develop the capacity for the fruit of the spirit because in, in, in the hearings all kinds of things will begin to happen remember when the word of god comes to you it comes to challenge your, your 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 past and your present position. That's what the word of God comes. Excuse me, does when the word of God comes to you, it challenge your status quo. It challenge where you are. It challenge the things that you have believed that you have accepted. It challenge all right your your your, your perceptions, your your values. It challenges it. No matter how that thing sounds right or good, amen. If it's if it's not aligning to the current to the present demand of God, all right, there's going to be crisis. There's going to be a challenge. And so when we say crises are coming, all right, we're talking about crisis first in that area that we have come to tabernacle, all right. He comes and begins to rough the, you know, rough the feathers, all right, of that which, of, of the nest that you have built, okay, because there is a new height he wants you to come into. So he shakes the very foundation of what you have come to accept as rest. He, he brings you to a new position, to a new height, to a, to a new understanding, all right. He makes demand on you. And one of the things God will do is that he will use people, he will, he will use instruments, he will use his servant he will use circumstance okay to shake us to you know to bring us to that place where we become unease all right uh, the bible says what to them that sit at ease in zion there's a dimension of people right today that have come to you know rest they've come to tabernacle just sitting down loafing around not really engaging all right the, the you know the comings of the lord not not pressing into the demand of the lord not seeking that which the spirit of the lord is requiring and emphasizing for this new day and so uh, uh, in in the midst of this move all kinds of things will begin to happen you're gonna be seeing you know clashes or you're gonna be you know waves all kinds of you know wind blowing okay all kinds of you know challenge will be will be taking place because we in the days of the move of god there will be there will be a dimension amen of clash <laughs> if somebody says that is the clash of the titans well i don't think so but i think it's the clash amen of the spirit of god with our own soulish position amen i, I believe amen that, that that the lord amen will begin to war with, with you know against us and you know and with within us okay so that in that day he can actually war with us okay so we've got to understand and, and clearly you know uh, uh, align ourselves to that which the spirit of the lord is doing some of the things that we will be declaring that we're declaring amen will be challenging the status quo will be challenging amen the positions that we have held on to in time past in terms of what we believe in terms of the kind of people we actually look up to you know as as you know as uh, uh, as models in the body of christ all right some of these things all right that the, the spirit of the lord will be will be 
hammering upon our life, amen, will make demand upon us that we have to again look inward and begin to redesign and restructure ourselves. All right, and 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 in the midst of all that, somebody may think, well, this guy is challenging me. This man of God is is challenging me. No, he thinks he's no better than me. So if you are not if you are not understanding, amen, the dealings of God and the demands of God, all right, you will turn that which the Spirit of the Lord is doing. You will turn the the, the trumpet, amen, that God is using, all right, to you know to to awaken his people to a weapon of destruction you know the trumpet is meant to you know to sound amen, a, 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 cl- a clarion call to bring the people so so if, if if you are not understanding if you are not working with god and you claim that you've got a trumpet and you're sounding this thing very soon you're going to turn that trumpet into a weapon you're going to be hitting people with it because you're not understanding you've not been you've not been trained you've not been you've not been trash you've not gone through seasons amen of of the processes of god in, in you know in, in in the wilderness and within the water all right we, we don't just get trained in the wilderness amen we also get trained under the water hallelujah and and i've spoken you know uh, uh, several times on, on that kind of stones that the lord is going to be using amen to build his purpose in this new day they will be smooth stones okay and and then you're going to also be you know uh, coming into that dimension of stone that is called without human hair so these are all dynamics of the spirit of god and of the declarations of god or the emphasis of god but i want us to understand that in, in this in this whole process amen we We've got to we've got to come into alignment because if we don't come into alignment then we are the one basically that will suffer the consequence because god will do what he needs to do amen god is no respecter of man amen he's no respecter of our guardedness our position our of our influence whatever we built whatever we think we are amen he's not concerned about that he's concerned about his will about his purpose amen finding expression in the earth either through our life amen or rounding our life you know circumventing our life amen moving out of our because you can't stand in the way you cannot stand in the way of that which the spirit of the lord is doing in this new day so so we've come to a new a uh, 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 series if you will of you know engaging the seasons of God and his title amen the ministry of the sound of heaven in the transitions of a new day the ministry of the sound of heaven in or uh, in 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 in, in The ministry of the sound of heaven in the transition of a new day. We are going to meet with the Lord. So we're on a transition. We're on a journey. Hallelujah. And this journey never ends until we come into Christ. I need to emphasize that. This journey never ends until we come into Christ. Until we become one with Christ. Until we come into the full stature of Christ. Until we come into that reality where our life, amen, becomes one. Becomes, amen, you know, uh, 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 united in thought, amen, in action, in, in, in beliefs, amen, in, 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 in in, in, in every aspect that we can you know look at that is the desire of God that we come into him the Bible says that we that that we come into the full manhood that we've come into full maturity there's there's a need amen for 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 us to understand that amen the the, 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 the declarations the emphasis of God for this new day amen is to bring us to maturity so the coming of the kingdom as we've been talking about amen the kingdom of God is coming all right is to actually bring us closer to a day where we readjust every time the kingdom of god come you know come closer to us we've got to readjust we've got to change amen we've got to you know redesign if you will amen we've we've got to be more fine-tuned in the spirit such such that we are able hallelujah to you know to 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 embrace that which is coming because the kingdom of god comes to us amen in trickles it comes to us in season it comes to us hallelujah in times all right if the kingdom of god ever comes to us at, at once bible says who will stand i mean there will be total destruction so so there is an announcement before the kingdom of god comes to us there is an announcement amen there is a preparation amen there is a declaration and so we've we've got to remind ourselves that we don't we don't assume the declaration and 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 the proclamations of the excuse me of the coming of the kingdom as the kingdom itself and I, I see that that's what a lot of us, you know, we, you know, we do. We, we end up worshiping the message and not really entering into that which, you know, the message, the message is declaring. All right. We end up, you know, building you know building ministry around the message all right i'm a voice of one i'm, I'm a voice of one i'm a prophet amen my my call amen is is not to remain a prophet my call amen is to employ the ministry of the prophetic to come into amen christ 
And I think that is something that we need to really expand on, okay? That we do, we do not build our life around a giftings, around oratory, around declarations, around proclamations, all right? That it's not a fight of who can speak better, who, who, who can express the word better, who knows how to preach better, who knows how to teach better. All those, amen, are basically you know, uh, uh, platforms or, or, or yes, if you will, you know, a, 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 a kind of a carriage, you, you, you understand, a, a, a rail, a, a rail to bring us, to bring us, the, you know, the prophet is, 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 is a conveyor, is a messenger, amen, is, 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 a, is, is a man sent to deliver something, okay, so you, you, you cannot get to the point where you forget the message and begin to look at the, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, you know uh, the prophet okay you forget the message that he is sent so so sometimes you know i i see that you know people get so angry with me and they they, they, you know, they want to fight me and they want to, re, you know, react. And I can understand that is very fine because that's part of my calling. All right, I, I'm used, I'm used to that. Amen. My, my, my forehead, amen, has been has been strengthened and my and my skin has been toughened. Amen. We we live on wild honey, amen, and and camel skin, amen. We 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 rugged. I mean, we've been through all kinds of realities and challenges in life. We've seen all. I mean, I've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen it all. I've seen all kind. I've I've seen where you build ministry and somebody comes and and take it over from you, you know, and, and claim it that it's their own. I mean, I've seen it all. What it, there is nothing someone can do today in ministry to me personally that will affect me. I, I mean, as human, yes, you feel you feel bad about it, but that will not stop me from doing, you know, what I'm called to do. Like this after this morning, excuse me, you know, while. I was thinking about, you know, some of the things the father is emphasizing. And, and, and I remember saying to myself, my allegiance is not to a church system. My allegiance is not to something, amen, that is culture that men have built. My allegiance is, amen, to the kingdom of God. My calling, amen, is to the kingdom of God. My, my ministry, amen, is kingdom focus, is kingdom center. And once I understand that, you see, it sets me free from, you know, the fight and the battles of ownership. You, you can own the kingdom. The Bible says, flesh and blood amen cannot will not inherit the kingdom of god flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of god you see once once you understand that it sets you on a different plane of operation it sets you on a different level amen of 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 interaction that you know that no matter what you do no matter what you try to uh, uh, cook up no matter how you try to you know deal with the things of god if you are living by the order of flesh and blood you will not be permitted to touch the things of the kingdom and I think that's a good place to really highlight and, and pause and, and, you know, really meditate. Flesh and blood will not be allowed to touch the things of the kingdom. Because the things of the kingdom, amen, are sacred. I made a statement this morning. All right, there, there is a generation that have been that have been assigned, okay, for their time. They've been assigned to gather. My good God, and if you look at the church today, my good God, we have gathered things. We've gathered people. We've gathered money. There, 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 there are all kinds of gathering. Sunday morning, you just need to see. I mean, there are some church gathering that you know their gathering is more than people who who go to you know stay there to watch you know to watch a football match. That is how, that is how, you know, these men have been able to gather. They've gathered, they've gathered things, they've gathered people, they've gathered all kinds of, vo- you know, all kinds of instrument voices, amen. When you listen to, to, to them, amen, in their gathering, you, you, you I mean, if, if you, if you are not, if you are not sighted, if you are not a man of the spirit, I mean, you, you think it's, I mean, they've done it all. You think, my good God, is there hope? Is there hope for the church? But guess what? There is a generation that God is raising right now to scatter to scatter to separate all right and that's a principle in the scripture that's basically a principle amen the bible talk about amen uh, the kingdom of god is like a net you throw into the water or uh, you gather all kinds of fish you gather amen when you when you harvest the fish and you bring the fish out of the water what do you do they say they separate them there's a call right now, amen, to separate. We're bringing separation. God is separating, amen. His house is separating the false, amen, from, 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 from the authentic, amen. He's separating the lie, amen, from the truth, amen. He's separating, amen, the fake, amen, from the authentic. He's separating, amen. 
uh, uh, the, the, you know the the, the you know the the, the 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 wrong order, amen. The wrong values, amen. He's separating the false, the false apostles, the false prophet. He's separating them, amen. And so, so we're seeing a dimension right now in the body of Christ where there is an upgrading, there is a release, there is a, there is a release of of a new standard, and that standard is challenging all that which we have come to believe and tabernacle around, or we have come to accept as the, as the authentic, as the as the uh, you know as the the right platform all right there are certain realities that you in fact if you don't have a divine measurement you will actually think wow this is so powerful wow this is so accurate wow this has to be god but guess what if they show you another dimension in god they bring you to another reality of the things of the spirit suddenly you realize my good god that which we thought had glory <laughs> is a fading glory is a fading glory that which we thought has, you know, authenticity. That which we thought has power. That which we thought, amen, has authority. Amen. We, we suddenly begin to realize, my good God, we've been deceived. And that's what the Spirit of the Lord is doing right now. Amen. There is, there is an upscaling. There is an upgrading. Amen. Of our values. Amen. We are coming out of that 30-fold order that we have come to believe and accept as the, as the benchmark. Amen. Of, of the standards of God. No. There is a new reality. There's a new standard. There's a new realm. There is a new place there is there is a new way of how to build church there's a new way of how to identify men of god there's a new way of how to identify the grace and the giftings of god there is a new way of how to interact amen there's a new way of how to relate there's a new way amen how to engage the how to engage the things of god there is a new way of how to amen go up to the house of god amen like solomon showed amen the queen of sheba there's a new way of how to sit Amen. On the table of the apostolic meat. Amen. There is a new way of how to feed our flock. Come on. There is a new way of how, amen, to wear our apparel. We've got to understand that there is newness coming now to the church, coming to the body of Christ, coming, amen, to the ecclesia. And it's in this newness, amen, that the world are going to be attracted to us. The Bible says, when the day of Pentecost finally come and all that, you know, uh, 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 you know, activity took place within the temple, amen, excuse me, within the upper room, as they came out, amen, as they came out, those who came to Jerusalem for the religious worship, remember, God always moved within, amen, the obsolescy of the old, God always moved, God always ushers the new, amen, within, hallelujah, that which men still are celebrating, amen, the religious system that men were celebrating, amen, was what God used to usher in the new reality, so we're not afraid, we're not running somewhere to hide and proclaim a new day, no, we're declaring it within the system, Everyone was gathered in Jerusalem on that day of Pentecost when, amen, God's counsel from a place called the upper room, amen, began to declare a new day. And I mean, everybody saw it. They they, they, they couldn't deny it. They said, what is this? They saw it, but they didn't understand the sound. They didn't understand the sound of what they were seeing, of what they were hearing. And that's why, you know, this, this, this series, this one that we're talking about right now, amen, the ministry of the sound of heaven in season of transition is very relevant because I, I don't want us to be caught up, amen, in the confusion, amen. They were confused. The Bible says they, they, they heard them, you know, you know, speak in their own dialects, in their own language, but they didn't understand what was going on. That ministry of understanding, that ability to decode, that ability to, to you know, to, 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 to define, amen, the, the you know the, the the voice of God, Amen. The frequencies of God, the sound of heaven is crucial, Amen. So so you so you are not carried away by just some you know activity. You are not carried away by what you know what you're seeing, Amen. Your sight must marry, Amen, to what you are hearing, Amen. The, the, that, that's the dimension they brought, uh, 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 you know, Job to, Amen. He said he said I I. I I used to, I used to believe by what I see. He said, but now, amen, I, I believe and I, I, I can see and I, I can also hear. God wants us to have, amen, that dual, that dual capacity of, of response. That we don't just respond by just what we see, but we also respond by what we hear. And I think this is something, amen, the Father right now is bringing to us that in this day, we have to make, amen, a, 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 
a clear distinction of the sound of God because it's when there is a clear distinction where there's an understanding of that which the Spirit of the Lord is saying and is requiring and demanding of us that we are able to accurately respond, that we are able to precisely respond. Heaven wants us to respond, not respond religiously, not respond, amen, from our old uh, pattern of, you know, of, of, of doing things, not respond based on the past responding based on that which the spirit of the lord is releasing is is bringing to us responding based on that which the spirit of the lord is emphasizing it's even though we've not been through this part before but we can look into amen the scripture into the word of god and begin to find patterns and begin to find you know directions and begin to find amen tracks they are all there in the word of God. And so I believe in, 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 this, in this season and in this new uh, declarations of knowing, hearing, and responding to the sound of God that to our life, amen, will be better structured and will be better in you know, a position to, you know, uh, to, to come into that which the Spirit of the Lord is declaring and is saying to us. And so I would like to share uh, uh, some scripture with us. I'd like to share some, some scripture with us and, uh, and just look at some basic things that we need to uh, uh, look, understand, and then be able to apply as, as, as principles that will, g- you know, give us, you know, that kind of, uh, l- you know, life templates to respond to God. Now, uh, the first thing I would really like to do is, you know, go to what, you know, theologians will call the law of first mention. That is in Genesis chapter 3 verse 10. This is Adam. He says, when I heard your voice, some translations say, when I heard your sound, when I heard your voice or sound, amen, walking in the garden. It says, I was afraid and I hid myself. He said, when I heard your voice, this is, this is, this is the response of, of Adam, all right, after he had eaten of the forbidden fruit. After he had gone to, amen, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the partaking of the tree of the tree of the, uh, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And this is what that thing does. It says when I heard. So, so w- w- what we want to extract here is that when, 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 when Adam and Eve heard, amen, the sound of God, the voice of God. Because God was calling Adam, where are you? There was a, there was a voice. Remember, we're talking about engaging the season of God. You know, Peter said, excuse me, uh, John said, repent for the kingdom of God has come. There's a coming of God. The kingdom of God has come near you. When God begins to come near us, two things can either happen. We can either hear that sound and go hide or hear and respond to him. Here here I am. I'm here. All right. Or we can go hide. This is this is the response system. This is important in in beginning to lay the foundation of talking about the sound of heaven. Because the sound of heaven, the reason for sound, amen, is 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 is, is a call, amen. When when we hear the, the call of God, excuse me, when we hear the sound of God, we 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 are desired, amen. We are designed to respond to that which I mean it's like listening to music. When you listen to certain sound, when you listen particularly to certain music, all right, depending on how you you know you've been wired and you've been structured. Sudden sound, amen, causes you to respond in a particular way. All right, people who are into classical, all right. I mean, I like classical, I like jazz, amen. I like anything that is that is that is you know that that expresses amen the instrument of wind, all right. The you know the saxophone, the trumpet, you know, and and, and I like strings, okay. Now, I'm sure that's because of my kind of uh, you know minister as a prophet. I, I mean, I, I like I like the act of, of a minstrel. Okay, it it stirs me. It 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 brings me to a new dimension. It brings me to a new level. It opens my my my, my frequency in the spirit. Right? And, and and so you, you you've got to understand that sound, amen, are messages, and sound, amen, are designed to cause us to to respond, amen, to a particular you know frequency. All based on how we have been wired okay it all based on how we've been wired so here is here is here is adam that god created and made in his own image and likeness all right that ought to respond that ought to be responding all right to to the ways of god to the dealings of god to the speakings of god to the footsteps of god in his garden he said when i when i when i heard your voice i'm talking about genesis uh, uh, 310 I said when I heard heard when I heard your voice 
So God was coming. It's like God coming and speaking. And that's how, that's, how, that's how the things of God is. Every time God comes, he starts speaking to us. <laughs> Every time God comes to us or you come to our, our home, our city, our community, our nation, amen. There are voices that precede the comings of God. There are voices. So when you hear Zah, declare this thing, say this thing, post this thing. These are, these are the comings of God. When God comes to you, amen, he comes, amen, speaking. He comes speaking because he wants you to be ready. He wants you to be prepared. He wants you to be able to respond, amen, to, to his coming. That when he finally, amen, hits the shores of, 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 of your life, amen, of your home, of your ministry, that you are open. But Bible says, bless up the servants. That when the master comes, they immediately open the door for him. So here is Adam. God is coming to his garden. God is coming to visit him. God is coming, all right, to, to interact with him. He said, but when I heard your voice, I, I, and your, your voice and your sound walking in the garden, I was afraid and I hid myself. And this word, he hit my spirit. Why was he afraid? Why? Why would he be afraid? He had never been afraid. This is a this is a this is a being, amen. This is a son, amen, that had, that, that 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 never been introduced to anything called fear. Adam was never introduced to fear. Adam never knew anything called fear. He was never he was never afraid, not even afraid of God, because there was nothing in him, all right, that could trigger fear. You see, in God, in God, when you when you walk with God, when you become one with God, you, you're not afraid of him. You reverence him. That's what happened. You reverence him, but you're not afraid of him. Reverencing God and, and, and being afraid of him are two different things. You, you When you stand in awe of God, because the word of God must must be reverenced. When God speaks to us, I like what uh, 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 brother, hey, I've forgotten his name now. You know, shared a few days ago, you know, on Facebook, talk about, you know, reversing the word of God, you know. And to me, that, that came so powerful. That came so powerful that when you, when you, when you respond, all right, to, you know, to the speakings of God in, in a particular sense, in a particular manner, all right, it, it, it shows the condition. It, it shows the state of your heart. It shows, amen, how, how, how you, you cherish, amen, the, the, the things of God. It shows, it, it tells a lot about the condition of your life, the state of your of, of your of your of your of your not just of your thought amen because you see um the, the things of god has to be dealt with in in such an in such an in such an attitude of 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 reverence and 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 and, and awe and 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 willingness amen to you know to to, to obey so 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 knowing that the, the word of god amen allow us to respond to god amen is something i think that we need to indeed walk in celebrate and really understand properly so that our life amen can continually amen uh, 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 reflect and respond to the demands of god so that's something i i really want to i really want to emphasize but 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 you know the scripture said that adam all right when he heard the voice of god he said i went to hid myself the question is can you actually hide from god maybe he thought he could hide from god because at that time remember he, he's lost he's lost a sense of spirituality adam had lost a sense of spirituality and when you lose a sense of spirituality all right you become carnal when you become carnal you begin to act amen in a carnal way in other words your response to the things of god will become carnal and unfortunately, that's how a lot of us are today. When, 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 when we hear God and when we hear the things of the Spirit, instead of us to respond back to Him spiritually, all right, but we cannot because we have partaken of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So we respond in a kind of way. When you hear something that challenges you, challenges your 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 standard that 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 calls you from where you are, that is calling you from that place place or you know that you that you find yourself that place of compromise that place amen of low estate that place you know of maybe of land deceit whatever it is all right the, the thing you do is that you react all right to the voice you say when i heard your voice i hid myself you react instead of responding you react you you go hide you react in various ways sometimes you react by challenging the person <laughs> you you react in very so yes and i'm reacting to god instead of responding to god you say when i heard your voice all right, my sensuality stepped in, and the, the word is go hide. Now, that is something we don't want to do in this new day. And for us not to do that, amen, we've got to shift away from the things, amen, that led Adam to the point where he began to, you know, react to God rather than respond to God. And he reacted in fear. And the Bible says, Fear, fear brings torment. 
Fear, amen, brings torment. God, amen, is not the author of fear. Bible says God has not given to us the spirit of fear. Remember that you know, all this thing happened because he responded to something, amen, through his wife, amen, and what the wife heard from the enemy in the garden. Amen. The scripture said they were told, don't be part of this. And, and you know, you begin to engage with, you know, with Satan on a level that you, you, you know that you, 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 you know, it will lead you to disobedience. No, you, you ought to rebuke him and say, no, get the behind me. That's the pattern Jesus showed us. <laughs> when, this, when Satan came and said, I, I want to interact with you with regards to your identity. Jesus said, get the behind me for it is written. All right. So if you don't know the word of God, you don't know how to respond when Satan comes knocking. So the scripture said that uh, he heard the voice of God. He heard the sound in the garden and he, he was afraid and that led him to hide himself. Now we're talking about, you know, responding to the sound of heaven. Now this is the first thing that happened, you know, with regards to the first man. And this is the response of the first man, all right? And this response, amen, we must not have in our life if we are going to be carriers, amen, of the nature of the second man, the last Adam. Because that is the order that heaven is bringing us into, all right? Being able to come into the sound of God and being able to respond to the speakings of God, to the demand of God in this new day means that, amen, we have been translated, amen, from the nature of the first man, into the nature, amen, of the second man. Jesus is the second man according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We need to look into the nature of Christ. And I like what 2 Corinthians 15 was talking about. He said, he said, not this flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. I was looking at, I was, you know, not looking. I was actually meditating on that scripture this morning. He said, flesh and blood. Whatever defines flesh and blood. Now, what, what led Adam to that point of flesh and blood? Remember, yes, he was created flesh and blood because basically flesh and blood allows him to function here on earth as a spiritual being. Flesh and blood is the key, is the doorway, is the cloth, amen, you wear as a spirit being, or right, to operate operate on earth but when we talk about flesh and blood on this level we're talking about amen, a falling nature a falling being amen adam adam amen adam became amen flesh and blood first and his spirit became uh, you know a secondary thing it, you know the spirit the spirit of adam that ought to that ought to be leading because you know when god created man god created man fully spiritual all right the first man was fully spiritual in fact we don't know you know uh, um the time span between genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 because the first man was created amen as a man Bible says he made them male and female. Man, God created man in his own image and in his own likeness. Amen. And he made them male and female. And they were there in the garden as spirit beings. We didn't know for how long they walked with God until God gave Adam a body. I guess when God realized, okay, I need this guy to do certain things. And based on the assignment I want him to carry out on earth, he needs to be able to interact with the animals and, you know, some other things. So he, he said, let's, 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 let's give this man that we have already, you know, created, let's give Give him a form. And so God formed man out of the dust, out of the clay. Amen. Adam means, amen, the man of dust, the man of clay, red clay, or right? Adama. So, so we, we're looking at something here that will give us insight into how to respond to the ways of God, to the dealings of God, and to the mind of God. That first of all, responding to the mind of God, amen, or the voice of God requires that, first of all, we are we are we have been stripped off, amen, that order of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So we're not heard. And what led to that is because he ate something. You see, what you eat, amen, will either either allow you to respond in a right way or react in a negative way. If you've been feeding, amen, on the tree of life, come on, if you've been feeding on the tree, amen, of, of the fruit of life, you've been feeding on Christ, not just on some giftings, not just on some screaming and shouting, not just on some charismatic, you know, jargons, not just on some, you know, noise, not just on some, you know, big manism message not just on some you know buildings and structures that you look at whatever you feed on would define what you're going to express out if you've been feeding on christ when you hear his voice coming you will my god you you you, you will rejoice at his sound he said bless are those amen who respond to the joyful noise bless are those who can hear the joyful the, the, the joyful sound You've got to have that understanding that every time there is a call, there's a declaration that 
the, the master is coming. Amen. There's a blowing of the trumpet. You want to respond immediately, regardless of where you are, regardless of what you're doing, regardless of the condition or state. Amen. You are your your attitude is you want to respond to that which has been declared. Hallelujah. So he said, When I heard your voice, walking, walking, when I heard your voice. Walking in the garden, I was afraid and I hid myself. We don't want to hide ourselves. In the day we are hearing the voice of the Lord coming, in the days we are hearing that Amen, Christ is coming, His kingdom is coming, His will, Amen, is, is demanding that we move to another level. We don't want to go hide, Amen. We want to expose ourselves to, because to hide means to to you know to to cover up, like like you know like we read of of Moses, Amen. He, he veiled his face. <clears throat> In the days where the Spirit of the Lord wants to take the people to the next reality, to his mountain, where God wants to come down and meet his people, the Bible says that Moses, amen, veiled his face. So the scriptures say we are not like Moses. We must not be like Moses who veiled his face. I mean, we wouldn't have known, amen, the intentions of God if that scripture had not been enlightened in the word of God. Meaning that, amen, that scripture is there for us to learn from the lesson that, amen, regardless of where we are, amen, in, in, in our walk with God, we must must never veil our face before the people people must be able to see they must be able to relate with us if we're leaders amen they must be able to interact with what they're seeing on the on, on you know within our face because like i always say ministry is in the face ministry is not in the hand ministry is in the face if you really want to know amen a true man of god look at his face not his hand don't don't be carried away by hand ministry hand ministry hallelujah will carry out whatever god whatever god desired to do amen but may not be reflected Acting, amen. The very essence, the very glory of God. Ministry flows from the face to the hand to the feet. We've got to understand the pattern. We've got to understand the order. And so, and so, the scripture said, we, may, we must not be like, like Moses, amen, who veiled his face. We must come with an unveiled face. We must come with an unveiled face. We must come, we must approach the things of God with an unveiled face. All right, having said that, having said that, I want to quickly lay uh, um, another foundation talking about all right, the ministry of sound. When you talk about the ministry of sound, you want to talk about the ministry of the prophet. All right? And if you're going to really understand the ministry of the prophet, then you're going to understand the ministry of the trumpet or the shofar. All right? you've, you've got to understand that everything that God does through the administration amen, of the prophetic ministry amen, is, is a wind ministry, is a sound ministry. Okay? Is a, is a wind ministry, is a sound ministry, yes, is a color ministry. There are all kinds of dimension, amen, to the prophetic ministry. But one of the main character of the prophetic, amen, is 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 the ability, amen, to to you know to make a sound, to make a sound. All right, heaven is designed and defined by sounds. There are all kinds of sounds, amen, around the throne of God, amen. This sound, amen, carries a frequency of his nature, of his character, of his essence, of his of his intentions okay so each sound amen reflects you know a spiritual structure a spiritual template amen a character in the spirit amen that defines the seasons of god in the earth and we've got to understand this we've got to really 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 understand this in 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 full in, you know in, in, in full you know alignment to you know to 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 the current declarations of god in, even for this for this new day so yeah in the journey in the journey of the people of god amen from the from the you know from bondage okay uh, 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 we've got to also look at in, look into that because when god proclaim a day of 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 migrating of leaving bondage amen that it, it's done with a sound amen there is a proclamation amen of the day of jubilee amen Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me. Amen. To, you know, to preach, to preach the gospel to the poor. To, then he went for, they said, to proclaim the year. The proclamation of the year of jubilee, a year of freedom, a year of liberation. Amen. A year of breaking out. Hallelujah. A year of restoration. Amen. Is, is, is done. Amen. By a sound. When you hear that sound, hallelujah, you respond to that which the spirit of the Lord is doing. So, so, so we're looking at some of this very powerful characteristics that is embedded within the ministry of the prophet so here the lord is saying to moses 
Remember, Moses is the administrator of, 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 of the bringing out of the people of God, of the leading out of the people of God, amen, from, from bondage, amen, from servitude, amen, into freedom, into liberty, amen. God said to Moses, bring the people and bring them to sign out, you know, to, to, Yes, bring them to my sign up because there I want to meet with my people. I want to relate with them. I want to introduce myself. We've talked about that before. That my sign up is a place where God introduce himself is a place of spiritual reorientation all right when you come out of egypt you don't know how you, you, yes god is your father but you don't, you don't know how to relate with him it's like you've been you've been you've been you've been estranged from him you you you've in egypt you're in egypt but you don't have a relationship with him all right you're in egypt but you don't have an understanding of his ways he's your father but you're in egypt amen a lot of us are born in egypt all right we 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 believers amen we're like moses amen who have, who, who 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 was born hallelujah by you know, you know, by, by, by an Israeli, amen, but raised, amen, by, you know, uh, uh, the, you know, by, by Egyptian, by the son of Pharaoh's daughter, and all that, amen, is all part of God's, you know, uh, uh, program and, and, and desire and counsel. But the, what, what I'm bringing out here is that when, when you're in Egypt, you, you seldom understand the cultures of the kingdom, amen. You, you, you can be born again, you can be spirit filled, and still not understand, and not been really taught, and not been really, amen, or Orientated, amen, in the ways of God, in the in the in the acts of, 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 of God, in the in the demand, amen, of, of you know spiritual traditions and, and the cultures of the spirit, the philosophies of God, amen, had not been built within your system. So God said, The first thing I want you to do before you guys ever get to the promised land, first of all, Moses, bring them to Sinai. Sinai is a place I'm going to introduce myself, I'm going to come down, hallelujah, in the in the in the thickness of the cloud i want to engage i want to i want to introduce myself to you know to my people i want them to know this god amen i don't want to be you know a stranger to them amen. i don't want them to just be calling me and just be parroting that yes we we serve a god of of you know of 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 israel and we and they've seen the act they've seen the sign they've seen me fight on their behalf they've, but they have not come to know me I want to I want to introduce myself. You see, God's desire, amen, for for you know for, for his people until today, amen, is to have intimate heart to heart relationship with us. So Moses, you bring them to me. But before you do that, amen, you've got to show them the protocol of approaching me. They must wash, amen. First day, second day, the third day I'm gonna come down. So, so we, we we've seen a generation earlier that that you know that that has that has been basically washing you know uh, the first the, you know the first reformation the second reformation it's been all about washing it's been all about cleansing it's been all about purifying now we're coming to the third day amen we're coming to the third day and the the, the third day is the day where God comes down is is the day where God reveals Himself is the day where God comes and means the cloud amen is the day where God wants to show Himself amen is the day where the, the proximity of the kingdom of God comes so near and so close to us. Amen. He said, because on the third day, I'm going to come down and I'm going to interact with my people. So you go tell them to wash first day, second day, because the third day is going to be a day, a day of interaction, a day of visitation, a day of my glory. And, 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 and one of the things the Lord began to say in that journey, amen, is that... <clears throat> Amen. Moses must, you know, must make a, you know, a trumpet. He said, of silver. In fact, let me read the scripture. Let's look at uh, um, Numbers chapter 10. Let's look at Numbers chapter 10, verse 1. Now the Lord said to Moses, make two trumpet of armored. I like the word that says beaten or hammered silver for calling the community, the assemble, for calling, for calling the community to assemble. And for signaling the breaking out of camp. In other words, this, this trumpet that you're going to make that is made of, of a beaten silver, well beaten silver, okay, is for two purposes. In fact, it's for three purposes, okay. The first purpose when you blow it, amen, is to gather, all right, the, the, you know, the, 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 the people to assemble, meaning that God has something to say to them. Meaning that there's 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 there's, a, there's something God wants to do. I miss the people. I miss the people within the people. Amen. So, the, the, the trumpet is for gathering the people. And like I said, Amen. There's, there's a generation, Amen, that have heard this trumpet, that have been blowing this trumpet, and all that that trumpet has been 
calling for, amen, is the gathering. So we've been gathering, we've been gathering, we've been gathering, we've been gathering people, we've been gathering all kinds of things. We've gathered money, we've gathered resources. I mean, we've done all things, but we have not, amen, aligned to the to the second or to the next frequency, amen, which is for the breaking out, for the moving out of the camp, amen, is to advance, amen. So because when God when God brings us to a place, He brings us, amen, into a nymphos, into a message into a day into an emphasis all right and once he's done with that amen we've got a scaffold and move to the next emphasis and move to the next position but for us to do that we've got to hear the sound now the question is do we know how to respond to this frequencies to this sound because sound when we say sound we're talking about we're talking about a frequency we're talking about a to, uh, you know a tone all right we're talking about something that when we hear it all right it, it gives us a message gives us a message now there is a sound that is being blown across the earth there is a declaration there's a proclamation amen there is a blowing of the trumpet amen that is completely different from the first sound we responded to which is to bring us together all right we've learned how to gather to gather ourselves amen but still we have not really learned to align ourselves so right now there is amen a, you know a separation a scattering if you will amen for a divine for a divine realignment amen into that which the spirit of the lord amen is requiring and demanding for us even in this season and so i want us to really understand the emphasis god speaks amen based on the emphasis of his season god speaks based on the emphasis you've got to understand the context amen of the seasons of god to know to know to understand to respond to his voice if you don't understand amen the context if you don't understand the what the lord is demanding and requiring for the season when you hear the sound you will not be able to respond in fact you're gonna you're gonna react like i said before you're gonna instead of responding you're gonna be reacting you're gonna going to be fighting amen you're going to be challenging what you're hearing no no we, we we've, we've heard this thing we no no you 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 coming to tell us this thing no there's going to be issues they're going to be crisis because amen you are not tracking with god amen you heard once and you you remain where you are and you're not hearing what the what, what you know what the trumpet what the you know the voice of god where the prophets are proclaiming and declaring again and this is the challenge that we see today in the body of Christ. So he said, make, make, make. You've got to understand that, all right, this trumpet is made. Okay. And, and I, the last time I spoke about this um, concept of making this trumpet, all right, he says of, of a hammered silver. All right. I, I think I would like to just, you know, uh, um, maybe touch on this a little bit because it, the, the process of making of making this trumpet which which which, which is symbolic amen of the ministry of the of the prophet amen it, it is crucial and highly important all right that that you don't just you know uh throw some silver in the fire and then th th there you go you, you've got yourself you know a trumpet it doesn't work that way he said make it of a hammer a hammer means that you you hit it to shape amen you 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 i mean i the the, the only time that you can actually Actually, hits you know uh, uh, metals to shape is when they are hot. When they are hot, so God God is saying, I, I want you to make this trumpet, Amen, of a of a beaten hammered, Amen, silver. All right. So so the, the process that goes into, Amen, the, the, the making of the of the of, of of the voice of God, of of the of the of the trumpet of God, of the sound, you know, of this thing that will carry the sound of heaven. It is 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 a, is is a very important uh, a part or, or, in in understanding what the spirit of the Lord is demanding and requiring. All right, there will be those that will be parroting. Amen. What what you know this this order of men, this caliber of men, amen, that have been beaten, that have been processed. I mean, I, I, I like what you know the brother was sharing yesterday about you know about me, you know, basically trying to honor you know what you know they, they're hearing from me. <laughs> and you know, when I you know, tears dropped my eyes when I saw that because I know not not too many people appreciate the kind of ministry that you you know you're carrying because it's not a glamorous ministry. All right, uh, there are a lot of people out there who pr proclaim that they're prophets. All right, and all is bling bling. All you see is nice, nice chain and nice cars and nice big, 
big buildings and you know to some degree i mean god wants us to prosper yes but we've got to prosper in the context of his intention we've got to prosper in the context amen of his demand for the season or i i don't want a prosperity that will that would deviate me that will lead me outside the demand of god outside the requirement of god and i'm saying this with all my heart i don't want it because you see it's so easy and i'm, I'm gonna be talking about some of these things as we go on because there are some things that father was sharing with me early hours of today that things that we've got to look into that we must not we must in fact we must run away from them in the days of the transition okay and 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 the lord amen will you know will have us look into this thing so so thank god for the people who can see and and appreciate that which the father is doing amen through you know this this you know uh, faceless man you know called Isaiah I mean I thank God for that I really appreciate you know uh, uh, that you know our life you know, my life is impacting people is touching people that which the father is giving to me that there is that you know you know there's a market for it out there if I if I if I may if, if I may put it that way that there are people searching for this truth because you know sometimes you can be so overwhelmed by you know by all the errors and all the out of order and all this you know money bag men of God that you that you seen all around and you can actually think you know like the prophet I, I'm the only one and God say no 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 you're not the only one I, I still have 7,000 plus that have not bowed the knees they've not bowed the knees so I thank God for you know caliber of people like that who who can respond to what they're hearing and this is what the Lord told me he said you, you keep declaring what I've called you to declare it's not for you to bother about who responds or who doesn't respond or who likes or who doesn't like it that's not your business you, my, your business is to go and, and proclaim my word amen it, my, my, your business is to declare that which I've given to you so I've got to be, 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 be sure amen that what I'm saying amen is, is, from, pure, is from a heart of purity amen it's not it's, it's not mixed it's not you know polluted I'm not allowed in my mind to be to be interfere you know by all these ungodly waves that we see out there so so you've got to depend on the lord in the kind of ministry that i i have i have to depend literally depend on the lord because people are not going to support you they're not going to give to you so for for when you find people responding amen in kind and sometimes in cash all right, to you know to what they're hearing I mean that is God, and I am eternally grateful to you know to the Father because I know <laughs> you, you, your heart must be searching for more to respond to what you're hearing, especially with a man like Isaiah Phillips. You've got to your, your your heart must be longing for more than what men are searching for, more than you know the fame and the accolades and you know and these big things and these nice things. Guess what? I want all those things too, but I will not jeopardize my destiny and my calling, right? and my and the voice God has given to me you know for this bread and crumbs so let's go further so what I, basically what led me to what i'm saying is that the process the process the process of the making of the man the process you see making the man of god and making the prophet are two different things all right when 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 they get to the point where a man of god is made they say yeah this is you know this is uh, this is the point where God seemed to be satisfied with the character of this man. He can go and represent me, you know, as a voice. But when it comes to the prophet, I mean, it's like there's another layer of, you know, of process because of that which a man will be committed into his or her life because of the caliber, because of the the, the responsibility, because of the the, the treasure or right, of of heaven that this person will be carrying. So they they, they take you through that. That fire, the Bible says, amen, as silver is, is purified seven times. As silver is purified seven times in the furnace of fire. That is how, amen, God prepares his own. Because every dimension of the prophet, amen, carries and reflects a, a character in God, a nature in God. Hallelujah. It, it, it reflects in a, a temperament in God. Every aspect of his life, amen, is a reflection of, 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 of a dimension in God. Amen. So it's not just about speaking, all right. It's about his behavior, it's about his character, it's about his preference. Come on, it's about his, his desire, it's about his will, it's about where he stays, it's about <clears throat> what he wears, it's about where he goes, it's about his friends, right? the people he surrounds himself with, everything about the life of a prophet speaks 
speaks amen, deep into the you know the essence of God and and and, and his destiny and his objective amen for for creation all right so the, 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 the life of the prophet amen is a is, is a total package everything about his life amen is a message everything I'm telling you everything everything there's nothing about his life amen that is not speaking volumes of amen the, the, you know the speakings of God of the demand of God of the requirements of God so so the challenges he goes through the persecutions the need or uh, the, the you know the, the limitations in his life okay everything are all part of that which in heaven deliberately placed all right to bring him to that place of 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 of, of rest if you will amen of you know of of, of uh, uh, preparation of you know of 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 trust amen of satisfaction or of even of dissatisfaction all right so so you you, you it is is a total package amen of the of the ministry of an intercessor one who stand on behalf of so it's not just about him being prepared for a message it's also being prepared to stand on behalf of he stands on behalf of amen heaven you know to earth he stands on behalf of uh, uh, heaven uh, you know excuse me earth to heaven he stands on behalf of you know homes family you know cities nations you know the, the church leadership everything about his life is tagged with an assignment. So, so when, once you begin to understand this, then you 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 see you 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 will be you'll be hand pressed to to you know to try to catch the prophet or his ministry or his or you know or or his calling. You you know that that word you know like I like I'll describe the kingdom that when you say kingdom of God, my good God, that is some um, that is a um, huge 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 word. Because within the kingdom, there are, there are all kinds of realities that you cannot even begin to imagine. And that the same it is with the prophetic ministry. All right? that it's not just about building. You can build today and tomorrow they say, pull it down. All right? and, and, and you're wondering, but God, why would you ask me to pull it down? You see, your, your imagination and your sense in, in, in the act of you know, doing doing the will of God, it may, it's taken to another level. That yes, the will of God can be just for for now. Somebody said, "Can God change His mind?" Yes, when it comes to the prophetic, God can change His mind. Yes, God speaking to the prophet about you know the king. All right, you're gonna die, and the next minute the Lord says, "You turn back, go to the king, and tell him, okay, I'm giving him more 15 more years." You've got to understand that that the life of the prophetic is not just about all right, uh, um, complete. Accuracy, and I don't explain what I mean now. Because God can tell you do something, and you're going to do. In fact, you've done that thing, and 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 the next minute, God says, "Okay, not that He changes His mind. It's just that you don't know what He wants to do next." And the next thing He's telling you is that, "Okay, undo what you've done." And then, what is your respond? You're gonna get angry now. Yes, God saying to Moses, "I want you to speak to the rock." Yeah, Moses goes, speaks to the rock. What it came out. The next time, God says, strike the rock once. Once. Moses went, strike the rock. Because of the complaint of the people, he decides to strike it twice. Guess what? What I came out of the rock. But the next thing, God judged Moses. You see, now, those are, those are all characters that we've got to understand within the prophetic. That, you know, your life... Your life, you, you, as a prophet, you don't have what is called a private life. Your marriage, your home, your children are all part of the process of the speakings of God and the dealings of God. All right? God will ask a prophet amen, to go marry you know, a prostitute. Then you begin to ask yourself, why in the world would I do such a thing? Because there's a bigger picture you're not seeing. All right? God will ask a prophet, I want you to lie on this side of the bed. All right? You, you, you ask yourself, why, why in the world? Because God will use similitudes. God will use symbols. God will use color. God will use, you know, you know uh, uh, material things. He will use need. He will use abundance. He will use lack. He will use, you know, you not being able to speak well. He will use your, your lack of knowledge, your, your ignorance. He will use you not being able to write well. He will use so many things. He calls the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. He will use, the, you know, the, the most based in the most basic things and the most pronounced the most profound things to speak to a prophet you see by the time god is done with a prophet the issue of being afraid of man is completely out of his life at least if he allows god to fully fully furnish him and prepare him 
God says, go give a word to, you know, to the president. He just go give a word. He doesn't bother about, oh, um, he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the president of the nation or he's the most powerful. No, no. He doesn't look at how much you have. He doesn't look at, oh, your need. He doesn't look at, oh, you're on sick bed. He, you know, the prophet doesn't, all he sees is the father's intention. That's why I said yesterday, right, in one of the posts I made on Facebook, that, 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 a true prophet's heart, all right, is first, amen, about the heart of the father. Before he begins to seek the heart of men. Ah, I'm not after seeking the heart of men, all right? I'm not seeking to, you know, to please men. As much as I want, amen, the entire world to be saved and give their heart and come into Christ. But guess what? That is secondary. My, my heart, my heart desire and that which is you know causing my heart to beat is to please my father is to please the heart of god because i know in doing that amen the response of the heart of men is a secondary thing i mean suddenly you know it doesn't take god to change a nation in a day but if you begin to compromise and you're afraid and you begin to look at their face and you begin to look at what they have and what they don't have if they will support you and not support you then you're not fit in fact you're not called so these are all beautiful, you know, principles we've got to understand with regards to the making. You see, what, what, I, I, I've taken enough time to talk about, amen, the process of this, you know, beating of the silver. Because at the end of the day, you know, silver, silver, excuse me, silver uh, symbolically means redemption. So we see that that which God is preparing, that which God is preparing is for the redemption, amen, of his people, is for the redemption of creation, is for the redemption of humanity, amen. That this whole sound, amen, is bringing us to a day of redemption because it's from redemption that we're able to come into restoration. Restoration is the final order. All right, that will be restored back to our first estate. That we come to that place, amen, where we can access, you know, Eden again, hallelujah, where we can access the place, the, you know, the paradise of God. And I think this is very vital. The things that we're emphasizing this morning, era, it says make, make, make two trumpets of Ahmed, all right? Make two trumpets. So, so we've got to be able to differentiate, amen, the sound of this trumpet. We've got to be able to differentiate, amen, the look of this trumpet. I mean, I am one who I've always been very much in love with the ministry of Phil Drisco. I mean, I don't know if anybody out there, I'm sure a few of you might know Phil Drisco, but Phil Drisco is known to be a master trumpeter. I mean, we talk about a man who understands the trumpet in and out. I was told he's, 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 he's played before, you know, presidents and I mean, all the top people around the around the world. I mean, Phil Disco, when he blows that trumpet, you you just you just you just sense you you just feel the presence of God. Ah, I love I love I love listening to that man and, and just l looking at that man and watching him. I thank God for you know uh, uh, you know for uh, um, you know YouTube. I, back then we used to listen to Phil Disco. There was no YouTube. You know, back then in Nigeria. I mean, I, I, you just listen to his tape and you. You know, you, you shed tears and you just cry. And, you, you know, it pushes you to, to, you know, to a realm, to a place in God. I could remember the first time oh, that I, you know, I, 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 you know, I saw Phil Driscoll, you know, live on, on YouTube. I mean, it's like, God, this is amazing. Thank God. Thank God for technology. So, 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 but, but what I'm saying is, it is not the trumpet itself. Because... We've got to understand this, 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 this reality. We're talking about the sound of heaven. Right? The, the trumpet is made. But beyond the trumpet, it's about the courage. It's about the construction of the spirit that defines the trumpet itself. Right? That which amen, is released through the trumpet. Remember, the trumpet is a channel. Just like I've said before, that the, you know, the prophet is a channel, is a mouthpiece of God. That's what the scripture says about the you know, prophet. Is a mouthpiece of God. Is a mouthpiece. All right? The prophet is a mouthpiece of God. And we've got to understand that. All right? That the prophet is a mouthpiece of God. He speaks on behalf of God. He releases words. He releases sound on behalf of heaven. All right? He makes declaration on behalf of him. Amen. The, the, you know, the, 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 the desires of God, the, you know, the, 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 the administrations of God and his church and his kingdom, all right? That is a prophet for you. So, so that which is released into the, into the trumpet, the wind, all right? The wind that is released, 
the spirit, if you will, that is released into the trumpet amen, is what really brings impact or causes the people to respond to the sound of heaven. So you can be blowing a trumpet physically, all right? And not really understand, okay, that which the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And not really understand that which the Spirit of the Lord is, is emphasizing. And not really respond to that which you're, w- 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 to that which you're hearing because, amen, the Spirit, amen, that is releasing that sound, amen, has not been has not been fine-tuned by heaven, has not been uh, 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 in a process by heaven, okay? So, so we've got to understand that, okay, the trumpet that has been, that has been made, amen, is an instrument that carries, that release, amen, a message, a declaration, amen, a proclamation from heaven. So, so the making of this trumpet, amen, must, must complement that to which the context of the message that God, amen, wants to pass across to his people, okay? So, 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 we, we, we understand this and uh, we see that these two trumpets, amen, all right, are for the gathering of the people, amen, and for the breaking out of the people. But it went further. He says, he said in verse 3, he says, he says, when both trumpets, both, amen, the trumpet for the gathering and the trumpet for the breaking out, he said, when these both trumpets, amen, are blown, when you blow them simultaneously, everyone must gather before you at the entrance of the tabernacle. But if only one trumpet is blown, then only the leaders, if one trumpet is blown, only the leaders, the head of the clan of Israel, must present themselves. So we see immediately that or, uh, this trumpet uh, 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 you know, a deliberately designed uh, for spiritual leadership for spiritual engagement for the development of the people for the advancement of the people and 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 as we understand that now if i let me read verse 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 five it says when you sound the signal to move on look at this when you sound the signal to move on the tribes camp on the east side of the tabernacle must break camp and move forward the camp Amen. On the east side, I believe that camp, amen, is you know is is the tribe of Judah. He says they must they must break forth camp, amen. That is the position of the rising of the sun. So we we see order, we see structure that the movement of God, amen, comes, amen, with divine order, with divine structure. That the movement of God, that the advancement of the people of God to the next reality, to the place, amen, of divine confluence, amen, comes, amen, with divine instruction. There are there are precision, there are accuracy, there are there are. Alignments, all right. There are structures, amen, that must be applied, that must be understood clearly, so that we don't just rush, we don't just do things, you know, out of zeal without structure. And that is an, an important aspect, all right, that we've got to, we've got to, we've got to, you know, uh, understand. He said, when the sound, he said, he said, when you sound the signal of the, uh, when you sound the signal the second time. The tribe camp on the south will follow. When you sound the signal, amen, the second, the second time, the camp, amen, the, the, the tribe that is camp on the south side will follow. You must sound, he says, you must sound, you must sound shout blast or you must make shout blast as the signal for the moving on. And when you call the people to an assembly, blow the trumpets. With a different signal. Blow the trumpet with a different signal. In other words, the tonation, the tonation that that comes out of that trumpet, amen, must be of different signal. And so, the one who blows this trumpet, the one, amen, who's been designed, amen, to blow this, or the the people that have been designed to blow this trumpet definitely must be people that have been what? That have been skilled, amen, that have been skilled. So, the movement of God's people, the movement of of the ecclesia, the movement, amen, of the children of God from one order, from one stage, from one position to the next, amen, is, 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 is something that is designed, amen, through the power of skill amen there has to be people who have been skilled who have been trained who have been discipled their ears have been fine-tuned amen their, their you know their their tongue have been have been have been you know have been covenanted amen with the word of life amen 
amen, their, 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 their taste board, amen, has been changed, amen. Every aspect of their life, amen, has been, have been sink to, 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 to flow to that which heaven, because you see, what they are declaring, amen, this is important, what they are declaring is, is, must be in tune, is in line with what they are hearing, all right. For, for you to blow a sound, you've got to hear something within your spirit, man. All right, it's called uh, 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 inspiration. Now, the inspiration of God is coming through the spirit of revelation. You can have inspiration in the things of God, in the things of the kingdom, without the without the without the spirit of revelation. For you to have the the, the spirit of revelation, Amen. You must have, Amen. The tongue of the learned, Amen. You must be one whose ears have been awakened, Amen, to the tune of heaven, to the tune of heaven. And every day you respond to what you're hearing, like Isaiah would say. All right, that morning by morning. He awakens my voice, amen. And I'm not rebellious to his voice, to his word, to his ways. I'm not rebellious, all right. This is very important, all right. So, if you want to be able to sound, amen, the trumpet of God to a generation, amen, you must be one that is awakened daily, amen, to the to the speakings of heaven, to the to the revelation of Christ. You must be one, amen, that is forever gazing at the face of Christ. You must be one. I could remember, I could remember years ago. Years ago, I've shared this testimony before, but I'm going to share it again. When, when the Lord called me into ministry, I mean, this was, I think, 1990, yeah? This must be 19, no, no, this is around 93 because I, I finished Bible school, all right? I was waiting on the Lord, you know, waiting, fasting, and, and I, I had some, you know, couple of vision. But this particular one, all right, was so, was, was so vivid and real to me. You know, I was standing in the field, I was standing in the field, just gazing, gazing to the sky. And then I saw this beam, this beam, you know, shining like, you know, gold. Yes, shining like gold. And as I look into the face of this huge beam, in, obviously in the cloud, the person was standing in the cloud, huge, massive beam. So I'm wondering what, what's going on? And here is a trumpet. In fact, those who know me back then when I was you know, just starting ministry, you know, the symbol of you know, our ministry back then was a trumpet. And we used to run you know, a, a, a newsletter back then called The Trumpet. All right? The ministry of the trumpet has been something that you know, had been with me for, you know, for, 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 you know, for decades. It's just that now you, know, you, you, you grow beyond, beyond just the symbol of a trumpet in the prophetic because uh, there are other dimensions that, that carries and reflect the ministry of the, of the prophetic than just the trumpet. The trumpet is, you know, uh, the primary, all right, because it's a wind ministry, it's, it's a voice ministry. But beyond that, there are other dimensions, all right. But yes, let's go on. So I, 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 I saw this being standing with this long trumpet, almost like the one you, you have in my place, you know, the houses, I don't know what they call it now, but it's not a short one. It's those long trumpets. And I couldn't see the face of this person. And he was blowing this trumpet. But what was coming out of this trumpet, I will never forget, is a, is a message, not a sound. So the, ma so the sound basically was a message. And what I could pick, you know, is like he's speaking, but what I could pick from what this sound is saying is, go tell my people that my coming is sooner than they expect. I will never forget. He said, go tell my people. Go tell my people. In fact, now that I'm saying it, it's dawning on me. That what I'm doing right now, basically, is telling you that he's coming. He's coming. His kingdom is coming. You know, back then, obviously, with the no little knowledge I, you know, I have, you know, had about, you know, ministry, I thought he was talking about his second coming. All right? I know he's still coming. He's going to come back. But now, um, obviously, I've matured to understand that he comes to us in seasons. He comes to us in phases. He comes to us, hallelujah, uh, like the, the Bible says, in, in, with the first rain and in the latter rain. He's coming to us in all, all fronts, all dimensions, all right? So, 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 back then, you know, I actually went to get a megaphone, you know, because I wanted to run with what he said. So, that was, that was something that really defined 
you know my 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 calling and my ministry that i know that all right in fact i never thought i was called to be a prophet back then when i saw that because i thought oh this is this is certainly must be a minister of an evangelist okay you go make an announcement go tell my people so you go warn the people so basically that was what i was doing you know i was a core evangelist i was everywhere everywhere you can think of that I find crowd gathering, I go preach to them there. You know, I got myself a megaphone. I was preaching. And I could remember talking about, you know, the ministry of sound, you know, and God using the instrument. I've shared this before on radio, but I'm going to share it again. So, so when, when I saw that, okay, before I go into that, but let me finish this. When I, when I saw that and this word were coming out, go tell my people. So immediately I knew this was Christ. I immediately knew that, and my good God, I was filled with awe. I was filled with awe. I was filled with awe. Oh, I was so excited in my spirit. I woke up. I you know I was sharing with people what the Lord had shown to me. So to me, that that kickstarts. All right, what today has become a ministry to me. This was just before we began ministry. I began ministry back then, and I remember this. I've shared this again that I was, um, you know, praying in in our f- church, you know, uh, our auditorium that was pulled down by the by the Lagos state government back then. I was you know praying and seeking the face of god you know we're all praying people were not everybody but at least people came to pray i was there praying because i love praying and 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 right there with my two eyes wild open i was praying then I, I see myself on the wall preaching in a particular street in lagos with a megaphone my good god it was like i was watching a movie so i'm tr- trying to look around are people seeing what i'm seeing the moment I turned my face, all right, to look, you know, to look at people, maybe to just show them, the sin disappeared. So that was the second point, I mean, that you know God used, or you know, second sign that God gave to me because, you know, I was very weary about going into ministry because of the limitations, not because of any other thing, but because of the limitations that I, you know, I, you know, I had back then, you know, not being able to speak properly, you know almost like stammering you know all kinds of things you know being afraid not very confident you know but guess what those were the things that god needed to actually call me into ministry because if if i thought i had it all you know well spoken articulated and all that i'm sure i would have been you know rejected so this is not something that i even desire i just love god i love his word i love his will and i wanted to please him <clears throat> You know, so I had these visions, and my good God, and I mean, those visions changed my life. And it's, it's as I grew up, I began to realize, my good God, Isaiah, you've been called into into the prophetic ministry, and obviously, you know, m- meeting certain people who came and confirm, you know, the prophetic hand of God upon my life. And uh, yes, but coming back to our scripture, they say make two trumpets out of. A hammered silver. I want to stop here to you know to, this morning because I think we've laid a good foundation of you know this work of this ministry. I believe the Lord will give us more insight, more understanding, and give us more uh, uh, um, yes, more ability to expand you know the knowledge of these two ministries. Okay, we, we've looked at uh, uh, j- uh, excuse me, um, Adam hearing the voice of God. God was the first. Uh, 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 revealer of himself as a as you know as you know as a as a wind you know minister as a voice ministry he came calling adam where are you so we see that every time god comes he speaks amen bible says let those who have the ears hear what god is saying god is forever one of the characters of god is that he's forever speaking so if you say you can't hear god uh, something must be wrong with your frequency your your ears or how you connect amen you've got to change that all right or secondly maybe because you've partaken of uh, the, the you know the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and that will cause you obviously to go hide so we've looked into that and we've connect that to all right uh, um this scripture in uh, numbers chapter 10 numbers chapter 10 all right is a major scripture that we're going to be looking into all right as we continue to journey on remember that this is a continuation of that which we've been looking at with regards to the seasons of god we've dealt with the issues of unveiling our face we've dealt with the issues of garment we've dealt with the issues of you know emphasis going god begin to declare you know uh, um 
a new emphasis. It gives us a new face. We've talked about, all right, even uh, what we must be eating in the new day. We've talked about diet, all right? So, so these are some of the things we've dealt with before. So if you're listening to me, I would like you to go back and listen to some of the teachings that we've done before, particularly on our radio uh, station. You can download the Spreaker you know, uh, uh, app on the... Um, on Google Play Store, you can download the speaker app or you can download uh, Google's podcast, Google's, Google's uh, podcast um, app, all right? And just search for um, Potter's Gate Broadcast. And then you'll be connected to our messages and obviously you can download them for, for free. And yes, so that is what we're going to be doing this morning uh, and we're going to be calling it a morning today. There's something else I would have loved to share with you but I think I will do that either tomorrow or this evening as the Spirit of the Lord will lead us. I want to believe that we have laid a powerful, solid foundation this morning by the grace of God. Thank you so very much for listening. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Father, for grace. Thank you, Father, for the liberty of the Spirit. I can feel your liberty, O oh God, in my, in my, in my atmosphere here, in my presence within my heart i thank you god that i've spoken this morning oh god with your heart without any ambition without any agenda i have released that which you want your people to hear lord may they hear beyond my words may they pick the spirit behind this word may this word oh god bring change may this word bring life may this word bring hope may this word give them grace impetus to move further into the realities of your counsel for this new day thank you father I pray for them, Lord. Grant them grace, capacity. Enable them, O oh God, to journey further. Not to look back. Not to look back. So that they don't turn, O oh God, to a monument. We want to continue in the movement to the honor of your name. Thank you, Father, for speaking to us. We bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much once again for listening. My name is Isaiah Phillips. I came to lie. You've been listening to the Potter's Gate uh, live broadcast. I wanted to say you've been listening to the voice of one. All right. Remember, I am just a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his path. Have yourself a wonderful morning. Bye bye.